Hi, Professor Charlie Evans here. The Decemberists. You're looking at the monument erected on the spot of execution of the Decemberists who were executed in 1826 after the revolt against uh, Nicholas I. The Decemberists became a, by their death, became a symbol for the eventual Russian revolutionary movement that developed in the 19th century and pretty much lasted all the way until the uh, Bolshevik Revolution in 1917 by their sacrifice in their attempt to improve the conditions for the people of Russia. Um, one of the things that shows that so shocked Russian society by the Decemberists was the treatment of the Decemberists, the fact that they were hanged as their execution. Uh, enlightened Russian society thought that was extremely gruesome. Um, and But Nicholas was intent on making an example of the revolutionaries. Um, the other important aspect of the revolt that inspired future generations of Russians was the behavior of the wives of the Decemberists. The surviving conspirators were sent to exile in Siberia. And exile in Siberia in the early 19th century was not a pleasant thing. It was extremely arduous journey to reach Siberia. There are no railroads in existence at the time. It was an overland, long, 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 terrible journey to get to Siberia. Uh, conditions there were extremely difficult to live. But the wives of the conspirators all uh, accompanied their husbands into exile and by their sacrifice and endurance and perseverance became this kind of image of sacrifice for future generations of Russians. Yeah, my cat has decided to join us here. It was really not surprising or unexpected that a conspiracy developed in Russia in the early part of the 19th century. Russian, her Russian history was filled with conspiracies, revolts, coup d'etats. Um, Empress Elizabeth came to the throne as a result of a coup. Empress Catherine the Great came to the throne as a result of a coup. Emperor Alexander I himself came to the throne as a result of a coup that resulted in the death of his father. We can even go further back to the Streltsy revolt against Peter the Great or the Time of Troubles. Um, there was a long heritage of, of coup revolts in Russian history. And in the early 19th century, the disappointment felt by the elite upper classes, upper class in Russia, that change had not happened, that there had not been a constitution given to Russia, that the Russian sacrifice in the war with Napoleon had gone unrewarded, that Alexander I, this enigmatic czar who at one time talked of constitutional regime, had, uh, had become em enmeshed in mystical uh, societies, mystical wanderings, whatever, and kind of had stepped back from the whole idea of enlightened autocracy that resulted in the conspiracy. But the way that Nicholas dealt with the conspiracy by making an example of the, the key conspirators, by hanging them, by exiling them, uh, it just seemed to create an image of sacrifice and martyrdom that would go on to inspire future revolutionaries in the 19th century. And so the monument stands there, uh, the execution place of the five that were hanged as part of the Decemberist Revolt. Okay, thanks.